Hey guys, so today I thought I'd share with you guys what my day sort of looks like as of right now as a beginner agency owner and I'll walk you guys through everything that's been going on with the agency, what's been going on with the client. But uh, yeah, just woke up and for the last, I would say, month, ever since we've had our first client, I got into the habit of doing two things as soon as I wake up. The first one is look at go high level to see if there's any leads that came through overnight, to see if there's anyone that needs to be followed up. And then the second habit that I've been doing is looking at the Facebook ad manager. So yeah, pretty much I just look to see if there's any weird things going on with the ads any trends but uh yeah guys let's take a look at go high level right now so guys yesterday we were messaging one of the leads that came through and we made a mistake with her scheduling and we almost booked her into an appointment but what happened was we offered her a spot that wasn't available and so yeah that was a mistake on our end and so i'm gonna try to fix it right now message her and see if we can correct that mistake that we made that's because we essentially would be overbooking our client so yeah i'm gonna try to fix it right now message her and see if there's anyone else that also needs to be followed up with so yeah guys i just finished messaging the lead but uh, now i wanted to show you guys what the ads manager has been looking like for the past maybe two weeks and also something really cool that happened just a few days ago. I know some of you guys like to look into the numbers, so I'll share some of those numbers with you guys. Essentially, a few days ago, guys, we had a really good day. Usually on average, we get about three to four leads, and then a good day would be five to six. Six would be like a really good day. But what happened a few days ago, guys, is that we were actually able to get leads very cheap. So as you guys can see, we we're getting cost per result at $2.20. So like for us, that's really good. Like getting a lead at $2.20, um, it's actually pretty good. And mind you, this is like Canadian dollars, not even US. So this would be the equivalent of maybe a dollar ninety cents US. But uh, it's actually like really good, guys. Not to say that every day is like this. Like this was our best day so far. We were able to get nine leads. Uh, yeah, so as I said, cost per result, cost per lead at $2.20. But uh, on average, guys, I would say it costs us about $4 on the low end to six dollars on the higher end to get a lead but uh, actually yesterday it was a bit of a slower day we only got three leads at an average cost per lead of six dollars 17 cents but uh, we're just learning the platform as well just learned how to run ads maybe two three months ago so yeah guys but so far the ads have been performing okay but uh yeah every morning i'd like to take a look at the ads and see how things are going but everything looks good. So guys, once I have done those two things that I have to get done every morning, I like to look at my to-do list. So this is something that I implemented maybe a month ago, to be honest. <laughs> but uh, I write the two things that have to be done every day. So like for today, guys, the first thing that I wrote here is launch a new ad campaign that we have to launch for our client. We're gonna test a slightly different offer. So we're gonna see how it goes. So I have to get this done end of day and then the second thing that i have to get done is create a new automation for our unresponsive leads on go high level so leads that haven't replied that haven't engaged with us yet we're trying to come up with a new automation to kind of hit them again and so that hopefully they'll come back to us but um yeah i'm not too sure how i'm gonna come up with that automation but it has to be done today and then the last thing guys that we wanted to start working on is outreach so if you guys know we just learned our client about a month and a half ago and we were able to bring results. Now we want to replicate our system into another similar type of client. But for that, we need to start doing outreach again. So yeah, guys, third thing on the list is to start doing outreach and figuring out our system again because we're not experts at outreach as well. So yeah, I'll do a little bit of brainstorming for outreach. Maybe I'll message my brother as well. And yeah, those are gonna be the three things that I have to get done, guys. So guys, I'm on my lunch break. Um, if you guys don't know, I also have a full-time job and I run my agency with my brother as well and we're trying to build our agency on the side. I'm on my break and I'm gonna try to get that automation done, that go high level stuff that I was telling you guys about. So yeah, just gonna start working real quick and see if I can get it done. Hey guys, so I was able to get it done very quickly. This one didn't take too long, but now it's about four o'clock and that's when I finish my nine to five which is actually eight to four p.m but um i'm gonna take a quick break and then maybe in about 30 minutes i'll be back and we're gonna start doing the new facebook ad campaign as well as outreach um yeah so i'll be right back guys so guys just took a quick break 
But uh, right now, the last thing that I have to get done for the day is figuring out outreach. So guys, just finished doing that stuff, kind of figuring out our outreach, what we're gonna do and our plan moving forward for the next two weeks um, and kind of test out our outreach, see if we can land a client very soon. One of the things that I wanted to start doing this year more is pretty much like during the pandemic. So 2021, I would say I read about 12 books and I think I was like really upgrading my mindset, my knowledge, but recently, to be honest, I haven't been reading that much. And so one habit that I wanna get into in 2023 more is reading. But uh, yeah, guys, right now I'm reading this book that my brother recommended. I, I've noticed, guys, a lot of times, like as beginners, we think this stuff that we're missing is like tactics. So like how to do onboarding, how to run ads and all this stuff. But a lot of times, as I got more deep into the journey, guys, I've noticed the best breakthroughs, the best ideas that I've had came from books that maybe weren't necessarily about SMMA, but had really good timeless concepts that I can apply into the business, guys. So like, for instance, the offer that we came up with came from Alex Formosi's $100 million offer. That's how we were able to get our first client. And then this book that I'm reading right now is pretty much talking about forms of leverage, guys. And so hopefully I can find ways to use this, implement this into our agency. Right now, it's like a lot of high level, big concepts. But uh, yeah, I think a lot of this stuff as entrepreneurs is like improving your mindset, reading, learning, and then taking some of those knowledge and applying it to the agency. So guys, I've been working on the agency for the last couple of hours. But I think now it's time to go to the gym. So I'll take you guys to the gym. Perfect.